Mandalay's most popular Buddhist relic is the 13-foot Mahamuni Buddha statue, so revered that people travel from all over the country to visit it. By placing gold leaf onto the Buddha statues itself, and it's seen as a way to earn merit. Earning merit is a way to ensure that your next lifetime is better than this one. So much gold has been placed on the statue over the years that it is now 25 centimeters thick, and the lower part of the statue looks rather less defined than it once did. I can't actually go up and place gold leaf because that's reserved only for men, and the women are asked to stay here to pray. Women who have already bought gold leaves are instead asked to put them in the donation box. Mandalay lost its imperial seat when it fell to the British in the Third Anglo-Burmese War in 1885. The golden era was over. The British exiled the king, King Thibaw, to India, where he died in 1916. His old palace, nearly one and a half miles squared and surrounded by a moat, was a natural defensive location. The British stationed themselves there and renamed it Fort Dufferin. Another war ended British rule, but this time the reach and impact was far more devastating. World War II had arrived in Burma. By 1942, Japanese troops had marched the 400 miles here from the now occupied Rangoon. They finally captured Mandalay after burning much of the city. Once the Japanese had taken the fort from the British, they were determined to keep Mandalay at all cost.